So what do we need in the second row? Well, we need an X. So we're going to need a 1 here. We need a negative Y. What do we multiply by Y to get a negative Y? Well, obviously negative 1. Okay? And then, what do we multiply by X to get 2X? And multiply it by 2, right? And all we need is 2X, so what do we have to multiply by Y? 0. Okay? There's our matrix. Make sense? Now, when you have a question like this, you really need to do a number of these so you know exactly how to look at this. So when we had matrix times this equals this, it should be clear that we have to have three rows to get three numbers over here. And we have to have two columns to multiply the two numbers we have here. You won't understand rank and nullity very well if you don't see that. And it, by understanding rank and nullity and the nature of the transformations, you get used to exactly what you need here, okay? So everything works together, okay? Okay? And it all just comes down to what does it mean to multiply a row by a column? And what do you do with the rows when you multiply them by the columns? Okay? Okay. So there's our matrix for this transformation.